Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Rafa. Uh, Rafael, we are ready. Vicente, Ruth. Yes, teacher. We are ready. Evelyn, Fernando, Iris, Janira, Evelyn. Let me see. Iris, Fernando. Let me see. I have nine people connected. That's... Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, Vicente. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than ready, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's what How really matters. Today, teacher? Just fine. How are you today? Just fine. Just willing to start a new class. Okay, good. Excellent. We are ready too. Okay, so hey, you know, we're gonna run a little bit tonight because we need to, to advance a lot in the platform. Okay, I, good. I saw a message in the in the WhatsApp group. And you know, this week we need to finish part one and part two from the platform. Part one, right? part one, part two. Yeah, that's right. So that means that we need to to go over the platform as quickly as possible. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Very good. So we're gonna we're going to um, uh, wait for a couple of minutes so that the rest of the people gather in the class. Maybe they are in the way. Yeah, On maybe. Way, sorry. Yeah, that's right. They are just uh, trying to they, get connected. They are arriving. Yeah, that's right. I have 10 people and, and waiting for. All right. Meanwhile, the people uh, get into the class. Well, yesterday, uh, I know you had a humble, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, you had two humbles. Yes or no? Yes. Well, uh, what was well, the first humble? We tried, but you you will know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? Hello, hey, hello, Daniel. Hello, hello. How hey, are you? You're fine. Hey, you seem really happy tonight. <laughs> on yeah. time, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, it's on time. <laughs> Just on time. Just on time. <laughs> That's on time. right. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Same everyone. for Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, Christina, Angel. Good to see you here. I have 12 people hello, I'm still waiting me. for. Hello, hello there. Well, you know, it seems as if uh, I'm not having any problem with the camera. Yesterday, we ha I had problems. But tonight, it seems as if Zoom is working well. So uh, you are going to see me during the whole class, OK? <laughs> and let me see. Um, well, let's get down to business because, you, you know, we have a lot of activities to do and, you know, I will ask only, I, how many homeboys do I have or do we have? Three. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Which are them, Gladys? How to pronounce irregular spurs in past. Excellent. The, se the second one. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second, Gladys. Gladys, give me one second. Uh, let me see. Oh. Ruth, Ruth is going to tell us about it. Okay, Ruth, be ready. You're gonna tell us about how to pronounce verse in a, a regular verse in the past form. Okay, take like one, two minutes would be all right. No more than that. What's the second one, Gladys? It's uh, one question, uh, where we you are with the student in high school? Oh, that's Prefer for, that's, give me one second. Give me one second, that's for uh, Angel. Okay, Angel, be ready with that question. What is the question, Gladys? Were you a good student in high school? <laughs> so we're gonna know about Angel. All right, so Angel, think about it deeply. What was the second question, Gladys? Who was your hero when you were a child? <laughs> okay, that's for Carla. Carla, you're gonna let us, uh, you're, you're going to tell us about your hero. And the last one. How old are you when you, how old were you in 1999? But that's for you, Gladys, okay? That's the easiest one, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us get down to business. Let us start by-, by Real age, so. please. Yeah, so let us, let us start so that we can take advantage of time. You know, we have a lot of work to do tonight. Okay, so who starts? The first one. Yeah, the first one, who starts? Me? No, I mean, uh, that's Ruth, right? Ruth, are you ready? Question number uh, one. I mean, I guess it's question number one. No, no, give me one second. It's about the, the, the past form of the verbs. 
regular oh. verbs. You know, how to pronounce regular verbs in the past form? Uh, when the where? Now everybody, yeah. let us get concentrated. What? You know, we have we have a lot of to, a lot of things to do tonight, and we only have sixty minutes. So let us let us keep focused on every single participation. Ruth, here we go. When the bird any tea, we have to add I E D E D E D, and the pronunciation is like a tea. For Excellent. example, want, want is the present and the past is wanted. Fantastic. So we have the first one. What's the second one, Ruth? Um, when, when, I have to, when the, the for a ending, and D, E, D, when the bird find any in D E D, we have to we have to add the E D, and the pronunciation pronunciation is this. For example, need need it. Need need it. Want want it. Good good. But there are two more. Who wants to help Ruth? Who wants to help Ruth? Thank you, Ruth. You did a great job. Thank you. But there are two, two rules more. Who investigated about it? Ah, okay, Vicente, you did it. What what else can you tell us about it? When uh, bears uh, and it, uh, in a D, uh, we are we are the ED. Or if uh, if a bear uh, and in a ed, we add only uh, d, I guess. All right, very good. But what about pronunciation? What about if I say clean, the very clean? What is the path form for clean? Green. Clean. 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 Uh, clean. Uh, is clean. cleaned. Excellent, Vicente. That's the way it is. Okay. Now, what about if I say wash? Wash it. No, Washing. no, Washing. Washed. Washed. Ah, some people Washed. are doing Washed. that the right way. So you see, you need to be careful because, well, I, I know that you are going to continue uh, studying about pronunciation on regular verbs. You, you know, we have three pronunciations. The one root cell, like if the verb ends in a T or D, then you're going to, uh, the pronunciation will be like ill. One, one T, add, add it. But then we have verbs such as clean, cleaned, wash, washed. Okay, so wash. I, I want you to continue um, looking for information and putting into practice the, the speaking, okay? Because I, I, will, I will notice if you are doing so in the class, I will, I will notice, okay? Yo voy a notar si ustedes están este, eh, poniéndolo en práctica, se han investigado y lo están poniendo en práctica en la clase, okay? Poco a poco voy a ir viendo eh, su avance. De hecho, esto es solo un repaso. Hey, we're going to go over the platform. Daniel, you want to say something? Yeah, I, um, I remember that when I use um, the verb in past, the pronunciation with the final is D, is similar like a T. For example, what similar ID and T really? So it's correct or not? It, actually, the sound is like a T. For example, look at the chat. If, if I if I have wash, wash, you know, and then I have it in the past form, then the the E D is sounds like a T. All right, sounds like a T. So they say washed. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Watched. So, watched. Watched. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's the way it is, right? So if you say, for example, fix, fix. Now, this is another verb, fix. Where's the pronunciation? Fix for it. Fix? Fix no, it. no, it, is, it, it sounds like fix. a T. Fixed. Fix. All right. So do me the favor to continue uh, studying about it because later we're going to go over it again. But uh, at least you have 
an idea about what it's all about. Hey, I want to share something with you, okay? And I, I want to make emphasis in the activities that we need to finish for this quick. You know, okay. week number one. This is week number one, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to finish all the activities in the platform regarding to section one and section two. So that means that we have a lot of work to do. That's why I want I, I want you to, I mean, we're going to go over the platform fully tonight so that we can take advantage of time. You're okay. going to do me the favor to worry. If you're, if you're not able to finish tonight, you can work uh, tomorrow. I mean, uh, tomorrow oh, or weekend. on Sunday. You can work on weekend, right? But do me the favor to finish all okay. the activities, please. You're going to send us that um, um, presentation? Uh, that, yeah, that presentation if you wish. You have? Yeah, I mean, the, I can share the info, no problem. Okay, so hey, uh, let me see. Give me one second, cause, well, we're gonna go over it as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, over here. Hey, you know what? We we will continue talking about a simple pass form, but there are some other structures, uh, such as. Give me one second. This is the one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to go over it. Now, what are we going to talk about? Uh, we're going to learn how to build English conversational skills with the phrase. What is the phrase? Phrase. Yeah, what is what is the phrase that we're going to study tonight? Used to. Used, used to. to. All right. So used to used is to. an expression uh, which you can use to describe what? Your childhood. Your childhood or past. Okay. Your childhood yeah, child or, or to or talk past. about your past. Okay. So in other words, it used to, if you look for the meaning of used to in, in Google or in a, in, a, in a dictionary, you will notice that used to is like, yo solía hacer. Okay. Yo solía. Yo solía cantar. Yo solía jugar fútbol. Yo, yo solía. Okay. That's something about the past. All right. So keep it in mind because we're gonna go over the information itself. We are going to um, solve some exercises, but in order to have an, an introduction, we're gonna see this video as we usually do it. Okay, so focus to and play pay sports. attention, people. Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So no, give example, me one second, give me one second. To... Give me one second. We're gonna see the video hi, from the Hi everyone. Video. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a used couple to. of examples. When I was a kid, so, I yeah, used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. 
How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later, I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. very messy but uh, now um, very neat there we go so the subject in our sentence is I am gonna go ahead and play with the colors right now uh, this follows used to and then we have the verb to be now this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example but it's not always going to be the verb to be and then finally we're, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there and so now let's try to make a couple of more examples so I'm going to mention some of my own so I used to and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid um, and well we follow the structure um, we have a subject then this follows used to then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end now let me present the negative structure let me present how Pay, pay special attention in this part because, you know, we're going to use the auxiliary T. And as you can see over here, we are not going to have a D at the end of, of the expression, right? I didn't use to. Like, just keep, keep, keep focused on the explanation, please. We're going to make okay. negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like with saw it in our positive statements and the rest will pretty much stay the same uh, so the subject plus didn't use to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists so in this case um, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here so some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. 
And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. All right, so that's the information about uh, just to. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, give me one second, please. I committed a mistake. Okay, we're going to go over the, the, the exercise. Okay, and then, Angel, don't, for, don't think that I forgot that you are in charge of presenting your homework. Okay, Angel. Uh, remember, you're going to talk about what you used to do when you were in high school, right? Yes, yes. If you were a good student, a bad student, we will know about it tonight. Don't think that I forgot it. Same for Gladys. And also, I think there's another person in church, of, right? Hey, you're going to use just two. Okay, hey, let us go over it. What are we going to do over here? We're going to check. If we got some info... Okay, about just two, and we um, understood everything. We are going to have some review. Okay, where did Jerry grow up? Uh, what's, you know, this is not only about just two, but it's also about simple past. First where, one. The first one. Okay, tell me the answer and, and read the statement, please. Where did Jerry grow up? Uh -huh. she, grew, she, grew, she grew up in uh, Brixton, England. Uh, all right. What is the past for grow people? Grew. Ah, okay. So it's, it's number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Number two? Number, number three. Number three. Three, number three. Number three. Three. Uh, number three. All right. Three. Okay. Number three. Number three. Uh, we're going to check it later. And if you still have some questions, we're going to solve them. We're going to try to clarify them. Did Jerry have a hobby? Number one, number two, or number three? Number three. Number one. Number, oh, no, number one. Number uh, one. It refers to just two, number, right? It says Jerry number one. Number one. used to paint, and, and she one. still paints today. Mm -hmm. Did number Jerry? Ah, uh, 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 but okay, so you, you tell me, in right? Past, in past tense, first one. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one then. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Okay, one. number three. Choose the best response. The second. The second one. Jerry no. used to collect the stamps. One. First one. Uh, this is first. Uh, we're we're going to something... check it later. Later. Yeah, we're going to check it and we will discuss. Number three. What games did you used to play when you were a, ch a kid? Look at the first one. I used to play number two. Number two. The second one. Okay. The second one. Okay, read the second one then. Second if you say second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. Second but the, the, num second. the second one and the Not number three the are the one. same. The number, uh, the second one and the third one is the same? Are you sure? Uh, no. 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 It's the second one. Oh, so it's the second one. The middle one. is in past. Yes. Okay, second now. One. Number four, choose the best response. What did you use to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect the last 
First one. The first one. one. The second first. one? First one. No. Second. First. Let comic books when I was a kid. First one. The first. First. <laughs> Number five. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to. Used to the first one. It's the first one then. First, first. Okay, so we're gonna check. We will see if we got it or if we didn't get it that way. Now, in the first one, if you have questions, let me know it because you know we need to advance. But I want I want to make sure that you are just learning. Hey, where did Jerry grow up? You know the path for grow is grew. This is simple path. Okay, this is not just two, but simple path. Okay. Is that right? No questions there? Right. No question. No questions. Okay. Second one. Did you really have a hobby? Simple pass once again. You know, did you really have a hobby? Jerry <laughs> used to paint and she still paints today, right? She used to paint and she does it in the present also. Okay. The question could also be does jerry have a hobby just because she still um uh, you know does the activity number three what games did you use now over here as you can see these when we use these mm -hmm. so use is not in the past anymore because we have this right yeah, that was yeah that's right the what games did you used to play when you were a kid and I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Very good. I used to, I used to play. All right. Mm -hmm. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but don't do it anymore. Uh, use this formula, subject plus used to plus present tense of a very classic complement. All right. So far so good. So far so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, this, I have a this, question. Tell, tell me, tell me the question, please. Ask the question. Um, Rafa. Uh, uh, when we use a didn't, um, a don't use, um, no se ponía la D. Exactly. Mm. Exactly, Rafa. I did, and let me see if I have one in the negative form. Let me see. Let me see. Sure, I, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Ask the question. But let me uh, see. When this this uh, sentence, when you don't use did. When you don't use did. No, why? No. Why? Why you don't use did? In this one. Yes. In the, in the statement or in the question, because in the question you have it. No, in, in the answer, in the answer, uh, okay. why? Uh, uh, okay, now first first off, look at it. In the question, you need to use did because it's a question, mm -hmm. right? Remember that's we're using simple past. And the, the path form for used to is like, I mean, in a question or in an interrogative form, you need to use the auxiliary did. But when you answer, it's as, it's as if you are using the expression in the past. Yes, mm -hmm. to. Yes, to. It's because this is a no, uh, yes, no question. It is you because can... it's, yeah, that's right. It is, it is not a question. It is not a, it is not a negative statement, but it is a positive statement. So whenever you have a positive statement, a positive sentence, you are not going to use T. Is that clear? You can use didn't. If you want to make it negative, yes. Because you can say, I didn't used to play. Okay, I will let you, I, I will let you know about it in Spanish. Si lo pueden, depende de lo que usted quiera decir, ¿verdad? Porque aquí la frase está en, en forma afirmativa. Yo solía jugar a basketball y al fútbol cuando, cuando era un niño. Pero si yo lo quiero decir en forma negativa, Entonces yo digo, I didn't use, pero el use ya no llevaría la D. Ajá, porque usa la auxiliar. Exactly. 
All right. Hey, y si quisiera hacer una, una pregunta, did you, used to, did you used to play? Ya no llevaría tampoco la de did, porque ya tendremos uh -huh. el auxiliar did. El auxiliar did. All right. Como que estuviera do, doblando el, el, la, ne, la oración negativa, las dos frases. Exactly. Como en esta pre -re pregunta, digo, la respuesta está uh, de primero, usa los dos. Arriba, arriba. Ah, yeah, exactly. Look at Ahí it. Está. Ah, uh, negativo. Y play pass. también negativo. Ah, uh, that cannot be possible. Entonces no se Pero puede. Es yeah. solo cuando es negativo o pregunta. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ok. Ok, I like that. Ok. And no more questions so that we can move on. Yeah. No more questions. Ok, so let us go over the next part then, because you know, uh, I really love when you ask questions, ok, because that really makes me feel that you are like um, very interested in, I know you are very interested in working tonight. Ok, and you know, we're going to see this video Okay, and we're gonna try to finish with this because uh, over here is what I was I, I was trying to explain previously in the exercise. You know, over here we're gonna see questions with just two. And please do me the favor to take notes. And if you have any question at the end, let me know it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes I know questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes I know questions as the one that I'm circling there that you use to collect things. That's a yes or no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. What sport is? Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word and therefore start with did. So did you use to? And it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're going to use. And then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is going to follow used to. If you notice, used to is not in the past. It's in the present. And then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of complement. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well we can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books, or no, I or didn't use to collect either. anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples and we're gonna to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment, so let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music okay did you question mark did you question mark play sports in high school there we go question mark yeah, that's right. You know, there are like uh, like li little like okay. small small, no. small mistakes. Okay, like the question mark that uh, you are mentioning, but you know, right? That you know that's an obligation to uh, to type or to write down a question yeah. mark. It's a okay? question, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me talk about creating 
WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. And we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're going to have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment. But uh, what sports? That's the WH word. That follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're going to have a subject. After that, we're going to have used to. Notice that used to is in the present. And that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're going to have a compliment. Sometimes you're not. So let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it. What uh, video games did you used to play? when you were a kid. Okay, that'll be another one. So what video games, that will be my WH word, it follows the auxiliary did, subject is you, used to, and the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions. You're going to make yes or no questions and also WH questions. What I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to post some answers. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up with the best possible question to the answers that are stated. Did you call it? Did you call it? Okay, no, this is a good exercise, right? Now, no, we have the answer. No, I didn't collect stamps. What would be the question? Did you collect stamp when you, when you maybe were, uh, or last year maybe? Uh, uh, did you collect? But that is that is simple fast, right? But what about if you use the expression "just to"? Did did you use did you use to collect? Did you used to collect stamps. stamps? Last year, for example. Yeah, no, I didn't collect stamps. Okay, that would be the first one. What about the second one? Yes, we used to play soccer every weekend. Did you used to play soccer? To play soccer? Every weekend. Did you used Last to play week. soccer every weekend? Okay, Last that's year. it. Okay, yes. no, don't use last year because, you know, it, it's talking ah. about... <laughs> it is not, yeah, it's about the past, but the, you, you, it's not necessarily, it's necessary uh, to, to say a specific time. <laughs> and only the, to say weekend is okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yes, if you say just play soccer, it's okay. And they say play soccer every weekend. Every weekend, that's right. Uh -huh. So the, we understand that it's in the past, but we don't, we don't need to say exactly when, right? Or maybe if mm, you say, okay. I used to I used to play soccer in 1994, for example. Uh -huh. so that is different, right? But if you say uh, last year or, or last weekend, oh, okay, so it's, it's like kind of weird, right? So Did you listen to music. Yeah. What about in the in this one? I used to listen to music. Did you used to listen Did to you, romantic music? Music. Did you uh -huh. used to listen some kind of music? Uh, uh -huh, but listen, it is not a yes, no question, right? Here it doesn't say, yes, I used to. No, it says, I used to listen to romantic music. Are you using the letter D at the end? Yeah, I think it is, a, it is a double H question. No, okay. What kind of music do you use to listen? What kind of music do you? Used to listen. Uh, did you choose to listen? That's used different, to... right? What kind, of, uh, what kind of music did you used to listen to? I used to listen to romantic music. Fantastic people. You know, uh, let me see. Let me see. Because, you know, we, we need to go over next part. Okay, that is the knowledge check, and then we're going to finish with this part. Then we're going to go over the uh, uh, next, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to another topic. 
Okay, and we are going to try to finish with this session tonight. Hey, what is the correct one in the in this exercise? Second one. Second one. Second, second, one. second. What is the correct one in the number two? Would you first one? First one. The first one. First one. What is the best question to match the answer? I used to care a lot. Uh, I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. Busy or busy? Busy. Busy. So what is the best option? First one. First one. Uh, the first one. What did you used to first care one. about when you were younger? All right. Yep. Complete the question. What kind of video games? Second one. The second one. The second one. The second one. Don't worry if 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 you think that the, we have just a few exercises, you have another homework tonight. Okay. Now, in order to finish, <laughs> people, in order to finish, in order to finish, Angel. Let us know about your high school experience and try to use just two expressions. I was a good student because I did uh, all my homeworks and I practice. I participate in class. Uh, I go and I got a good grade and I used to play soccer in my in my free times. Hey, fantastic. Did you notice the way he used the expression we are studying tonight? What did he say? I used to play soccer. To play. So you see, he is using the structure we are just studying tonight. Excellent, Angel. Congratulations. And uh, I think Carla was the one in charge of sharing the info about Hero, right? About a hero. Is that right? Or I'm mistaken? Who, who is in charge of talking about the hero? Um, I mentioned I someone at the beginning, right? Yes. I don't remember. Gladys, who, who was the person? I, I think it was, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't was the person that you mentioned. Uh, what was, wasn't you, Carla? Yes. Yeah, I know you, you were in church. Oh, hey. I am thinking about. I you think about you, the hero you used to have. Yes. You used to have when you were a, 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 a child girl. Um, I don't remember something, but uh, I, use, I, use, I used to use, I know. A TV program. I don't have an idea or I don't remember that when I when I child. You didn't have any any superhero when you were a, mm. a tiger? Super, oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. for a TV uh, program. Yes, I I had them, but uh, I was um sorry. Pat O'Donnell, maybe. No. <laughs> and now he's and uh, they are too, my father and my mother, because oh. those are uh, hard persons for me. And I improved myself to learn a different thing. And he loved, they love me. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think they used to take care of you a lot and they still do it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's really good. Okay, I saw someone who wanted to participate. I think it was Daniel. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel, want to say something tonight? You want to talk sorry, about sorry, your superhero? Sorry. Yeah, when I, when my super my superhero when I was a child it was Ultraman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ultraman, all right. Ultraman. Someone remember that Ultraman? <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. do remember about Ultraman. Okay. My hero <laughs> was He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ultraman used to be your superhero, but not anymore, right? Used to be. 
used to be your superhero, but not anymore. Okay. Used to be. Not okay. Anymore. And I think Cecilia is going to tell us about, about something else, right? The ash. Uh, it was no, it was Gladys, right? Gladys was the one. Ah, uh, yes. The, no, the, you, you mentioned uh, that I have to respond the last one question. Yeah. And how were you in 1999? Okay. <laughs> I'm very old yeah. right now. So, no. In 1999, I was in my 30s. 30. And All I right. used to work for a bank, very good bank, because uh, that bank used to have a lot of benefits for the employees. Hey, I love this group. I love this group. <laughs> hey, you know, she provided extra, extra info, you know, about what she used to do when, when he was in her 30s, okay? And that was fantastic. Hey, you know. I, I have a question. Uh, Alejandro, go ahead. Yes, uh, I have a question. <laughs> uh, what did you used to do? Uh, I uh, the hero to my coworker, my 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 partner. Uh, he uh, used to Ramon. fight. He what, used to fight against monsters. What did? Ah, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I, hey, I, I never seen that. Oh, you, you, never, never, seen that. you never saw really? it. Okay. Yes. I never hey. seen it. You've been I, looking I, for it in YouTube. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, okay, people, listen. Homburg, nos van a hablar Homburg. de su niñez la próxima semana. Okay? De su niñez. So, good memories. I'm forgetting. All information, yeah. general information. General info. You think you used to, didn't use to, uh, etc. Okay? Y eso es para que practiquen un poquito más porque ahora vámonos con otra, con otra temática. ¿Ok? Recuérdense que hay que terminar la sección 1 y la sección 2. ¿Ok? Vamos a iniciar con esto. ¿Ok? Ahora vamos con countable and non-countable nouns. ¿Ok? Uh, we're going to see a video. We're going to have a knowledge check. And we're going to continue doing so. So that we're going to try to advance as much as possible. ¿Ok? Okay, people, countable and non-countable nouns are uh, uh, just right now. Do you know, air, for example, el aire, ¿se puede contar o no se puede contar? No. no. Smoke. Don't count. Can, can we count Don't smoke? Don't count. Smoke. Don't count. Don't count. No, no podemos Don't contar count. el humo it's tampoco. Small. No. Water. No. Water. No. Okay, no. so salt. No. Salt. If the, water, the water is so so because in recipient, yes. Ah, and the, very good. And the ocean, no. Excellent, Fernando. Hey, you know, we can count, but there, the, you know, a bottle of water, but not the water itself. Rice. Rice, very good, beans, etc. Let us take a look at this, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of it. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, computer, pen, bottle, computer. spoon, desk, a cup a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. 
Now let me point out what non count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city for example there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars and we want to use count nouns and non count nouns to express uh, those ideas so we're gonna listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Um, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? Okay, so that was it, right? That was the information about it. Well, I have like, like four exercises. So, in here, then you're going to tell me. Uh, for example, which are the following is not a count noun. Bus, subway line, or parking? Subway line. Parking. 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 So parking. 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 Let's see if it is parking. What are some examples of non count nouns? Choose three. Water. Air. Water. Water. Good. Good. All right. Where are some examples of count nouns? Desk, 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 camera, 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 camera book, book, and book. book. And what do the buses cause too much pollution? Why? The, the first one. First one. Second one. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. The buses are new, but they are in a bad condition. Old, uh, 
There are too many buses. The first there one. are too many buses. Why do the buses cause so much pollution? We'll because check the they first are all one. Because, because they are all. all. Okay, why is there too much traffic? Because there, the many cars. because there are too many cars. Because there are too many cars. Too many cars. We're going to check it, okay? And we will see. Wow, fantastic. You have it clear. Excellent. Excellent job. Hey, you know, we're going to stop going here. I will check the list of attendance. Help me with the list of attendance, please. Me ayudan con la lista, por favor, chicos. Vamos okay, good. Terminando. Ok, recuérdense que por favor ya por lo menos introduje eh, la, la, la segunda parte. Termínenla, por supuesto, en la otra semana vamos a tener un repaso acerca de esto. Ok, porque es, yo creo que es necesario. Ana y Vania. Teacher, son. Present, teacher. Ok. Tell me. It just I came late because I was in another platform. Oh, I'm sorry, but fortunately you are over here. It's just because you count all the seconds that we are here, but I was in the other room because somebody shared another link. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I, I, I was alone and I put something on the group and I say, hey, everybody is, uh, you know. <laughs> And yeah. somebody texted me, so thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, good. Hey, you know, tienen solo dos tareas. Una es que se preparen una pequeña presentación de cómo fue su niñez, lo que solían hacer en su niñez. Y la otra es que terminen las actividades de la sección 1 y 2 de la plataforma. Okay. Eso es lo que les estoy solicitando. Ana Yancy. Okay. 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 No, it's not. Ana Yancy is not here. Angel, I'm here. yeah, I'm Angel here. is over here, right? Brandy, present. Cecilia, I am here. Good night. Okay, good night. Christina, present. Daniel, Alejandro, present. Teacher, I'm here. Diana, Stephanie, present. Elena, Noemi. I'm here, teacher. Evelyn Susana. I'm here, teacher. Fernando Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Gladys Mavi. Present. Iris Concepción. Present, teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Jessica. Carla eh, Selena. Present. Kevin Alexander. <clears throat> Kevin. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Oscar Alejandro. <clears throat> Present teacher. Present. Rafael Cruz. I'm here teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Eh, Sandra Noemi. Hello, Sandra. Is Sandra there? <coughs> Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Yanira Elizabeth. I'm here. Okay, very good. That's just fantastic. Solo voy a, a confirmar las personas que no, que no, que no escuché. Ana Yancy. Jessica Alejandra, Kevin Alexander, Sandra Noemi. That's it, right? Hey, you know, I, I will, let me see. Uh, uh, let me tell you the following, just before finishing the class. Eh, quiero, quiero felicitarlos, porque son un grupo. Thank you very much. Un grupo Thank muy, you. muy bonito, muy activo, están muy pendientes de lo que se está enseñando. Y, este, y si ustedes se fijan, la clase como que va como fluyendo con normalidad. Eso no quiere decir que 
si alguien, acuérdense que hay ritmos de aprendizaje diferentes. Yo, por ejemplo, me voy a ponerte uh -huh. ejemplo yo, yo soy una persona que aprende lentamente, yo aprendo lento. Pero tengo la característica que como aprendo lento, siento que aprendo bien, que aprendo muy bien. Y hay otras personas que son muy diestros, aprenden muy rápido y también aprenden bien. O sea, las dos están, están bien, ¿verdad? Eh, lo mismo puede suceder con ustedes. Deben identificar cuál es el ritmo de aprendizaje eh, que tienen. Aprendan a hacer eso. ¿Por qué? Les va a servir eh, para que identifiquen cuán rápido están aprendiendo inglés y de esa manera usted mismo va a decir, bueno, pues quizás no estoy avanzando lo suficiente. Voy a buscar más información de YouTube. Uh, el teacher no nos dejó más tareas de YouTube, de, de YouTube, just, just pero yo siento que necesito más. Entonces voy y busco más acerca de YouTube. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. uh, si usted siente que pues aprendió súper bien, muy rápido, entonces pues... Eh, dedíquese también a, a buscar quizás un listening, algo de, de lectura o algo que sea referente a la temática para que logre pues eh, inclusive generalizar más su conocimiento acerca de un tema. De esa manera ustedes van a ir aprendiendo más y más y más y de repente pues el docente así como yo me he llevado la sorpresa que ustedes pues ya tienen un nivel de inglés muy bonito pues otro docente que lo reciba, pues va a sentir lo mismo. Wow, estos chicos vienen súper preparados. Ok, entonces Perfecto. les dejo esas dos tareas y espero verlos el lunes, Dios mediante. <laughs> See you, my friend Cruz. Daniel. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Rafael. Bye. bye. See you. See you tomorrow. No, next week. Oh, the next <laughs> week, baby. Oh my God. Next week. <laughs> oh, we we can open a room just for us. So. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. See you, Excellent. Randy. See you, Randy. Maria, bye bye. Good night. See you, Daniel. See you, Vicente. Nice weekend, everybody. Thank you.